John the Engineer, Termel, Independent. Well, last month the Globe and Mail announced that half of Canadians are 200 bucks away from being broke. Not you people, but your kids, okay? So, I'm going to explain why now, and then later how to fix it. Canada's debt national had much stability till 1974 starts exponentiality. Same in Ontario, same in Quebec, debt's doubling over time. Did debts all start to grow in big coincidence, sublime? The Bank of Canada once loaned to provinces and fed without the interest that causes budgets to turn red. It financed major projects, made St. Lawrence Seaway be, Fun Trans Canada Highway was funded Sea to Shining Sea. Not only infrastructure, it also paid for World War II. With interest free cash, we almost nothing couldn't do. With only taxes for depreciation and repair, so easily affordable without the banker's share. But in 1974, Pierre Trudeau cut the fee, said no more interest free loans for infrastructure need. All governments must borrow now new funds from private banks and raise new tax to pay the interest with bankers' thanks. But worse, in 1968, Care lifted the cap on interest from 6% to 60. That's the wrap. In 12 years, central bank rate rose to 22%. Remember that? More tax to service greater debt at higher rates was spent. So, oh Canada, Pierre Trudeau is responsible for debts out of control by lifting rate cap and ending interest-free loans his role. Oh Canada sure could have offered all a living swell, but Pierre in 1974 turned heaven into hell. So, I'm going to explain later on how we can reprogram the banks. Thank you to very much. Back the money Time is up, so, sir. Well, remember how the provinces and the federal government had access to interest-free loans from the Bank of Canada before 1974? Well, if you go to my website, smartestman.ca, and you look at the videos and the explanation there, I want businesses and citizens to have interest-free Bank of Canada accounts, too, so that you can cut checks to settle all your mortgages and your interest-bearing debts, and after that, all your payments go against the principal, and someday you're out of debt. So I'm not just going to reduce and put a cap on the interest rates for your thing. It's going to be zero at the Bank of Canada and whatever you need to settle your problems. So what problems are left if the businessman has access to the interest-free Bank of Canada window like the governments used to have before 1974? Well, maybe you can learn something. Back in 1996, I ran against Sheila Cox in the Hamilton by-election. And the title was Super Loser Fails Again. But exactly one month later, the Hamilton Spectator announced that the Hamilton Self-Help Group started up a Hamilton Lance Time Bank. So I didn't need to get elected. I said, I don't need to get elected. I just need one person with a brain to go pick up the software and do it yourself. And there they did it but no one's been smart enough to do it on their own since then, which is why I keep coming to explain it to you, even if it doesn't stay in the head longer than one ear to the other. And now, Scott Davidson. Climate change will still be a problem for generations to come. What does your party promise to do to tackle this problem? Okay, well, he's Justin Trudeau leading fight to stop our climate change, call CO2 pollution, carbon tax he will arrange. But in 2009, the frauds exposed in ClimateGate, where Michael Mann used trick to hide decline since 98. Won't show the court his data to his hockey stick graph clear, caught fudging numbers so the warmer times would disappear. Medieval warming period, 800 years ago, Green land was green, and Britain even able grapes to grow. His hockey stick omits four centuries of higher climbs, hotter climbs, and uh, hides even the recent Dust Bowl days of dirty 30s times. Well, with scientists to hit decline, hide their data too. Uh, till Greenland's green again, we must 
consider what we knew. Still fooled by trick to hide the crime. Still Justin leads the way. I tried to stop climate from changing on his resume. So not really many of the uh, candidates up here can do anything, except for me, because how would I fund the Trans Bradford Highway? Gee, how did they fund the Trans Canada Highway before 1974? Bank of Canada loans, interest free to the Ontario government. That's why their taxes were so low. They didn't need to raise taxes to pay interest on the debts these people would make borrowing money from private banks. So, if we can reprogram the Bank of Canada to operate like they did before 1974, you could have the funding interest free. But in the meantime, anything they do do, they're gonna stick you with the interest for it, and you had a chance to skip the interest, so you deserve it. <laughs> Thank you very much, candidates. Well, I'm trying to stop financial waste, and that's why there's no way I'm going to do anything about global warming until Greenland's green again. And that's why I'm proud to say I'm the smartest man on earth, and these people aren't on the same side of the bell curve as I am. I was teaching Assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course after a systems engineering degree. Same education as Mr. Spock, which is why I can bet I'm right and these clowns are wrong. Why did he change the name from global warming to climate change? From up to both ways. Why? Why did he change the name? It's still measured in degrees. You're being scammed. I can't be scammed. I'm too sharp. And of course, the slows can. That's why these five slows are up here talking about wasting your cash on carbon taxes. Number two, again, the interest rates. Wow, uh, our taxes disappeared <laughs> since over 40 years ago for interest on Trudeau's debt. We didn't have to owe. If we got back two trillion taxed since Pierre helped banks us fleece, reversing the algorithm gets back 60 grand apiece. So your kids would all have 60 grand in the bank instead of being 200 bucks shy or broke. So, while Justin could make loans again without the usury, can we expect but more bad fruit from father's crooked tree? An engineering dropout, beta boy go blooded blue, like dad a silver spooner with for numbers talents few. If Mr. Spock could act computer central all alone, debug bad code to save a planet from the danger zone, no help he needed from the low-tech slows who had no clue, what Mr. Spock could do, the engineer says, I can do it too. 60 grand in your kids' accounts instead of being 200 bucks away from broke. I don't know where they're going to get the money to do all of this from. I do. <laughs> Look, if you Google for great Canadian gambler, I come up. And I was the professor at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City in the Rounders movie. So if anybody can show you how to win, I can. Now, if I got to reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer to give you all an interest-free account, and then put back the 60 grand Pierre helped the banks fleece from you, would you really have any trouble affording your internet? Thank you. Scott Davidson from the Conservative Party. Well, of course, my answer is similar. And before you think I'm always picking on Pierre and the Liberals, this is the graph of the debt of France. And look, it started to grow exponentially in 1974, too. So it didn't matter who was in power. They would have all done it to you anyway because it was being done all over the world. But Pierre gets credit for being the poster boy for our national debt we didn't have to hold. As for farmers... If you count all of the interest they pay on all this big machinery and all their farms and on everything that they have to pass along to you in prices and hope they can collect out of you when you're complaining it's too expensive, back to the same problem. Pierre's interest made it too expensive for the farmers like it made food too expensive for you. And if we can just reprogram the bank's computers with the Spock solution, 
and let everybody have an interest-free account. They can cut their prices for food once they're not paying a fortune in interest on their equipment. <clears throat> so I wear the hat as my only symbol, just in case you feel like laughing. Remember, you're laughing at a guy with a science degree trying to help you. Now, this was from 1981, an election then, when I was walking around with this sign. This is an equation. I've run in 98 elections because this equation proves that interest causes inflation. Can you believe our generation in the 80s were told that if we raised interest rates on manufacturers' costs, it would reduce prices? Come on, all you gray hairs out there. Isn't that true? Wasn't interest rates to fight inflation? And you fell for that? Raising manufacturing costs will reduce your prices? You believe that? I didn't. And I came up with this equation, which explained that inflation is a direct function of the interest rate. And that's why I ran in 98 Guinness record elections, because of an equation. Now, number two, I'm also leading the fight. Well, I ran in politics to legalize gambling because I got tired of being busted. Then they asked me about inflation. And I said, okay, my casino chips don't inflate. How come the government's chips do? And that's when I figured interest was causing it. But I was also in my first election called the cha champion of the gamblers, hookers, and dope smokers because I'm a libertarian at heart. And I'm still leading the fight to legalize marijuana and get you zombies off cans. So, in 2003, I made the government drop 4,000 charges. Of course, it didn't make the news. Like the meeting in Sutton last week, I got arrested and taken away because they wouldn't let me participate. And they covered it up. You didn't hear that the cops arrested a candidate and took him away from your election debate. And that's why you won't see me on the Rogers televised debate. So, yes, I'm a libertarian soul cred. I want no cops and gambling sex. Thank you very cops. much, John. Your time is up. Your closing statement.